All right, guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, just finished work, so I'm going to get started on uh, working on the side of the motor of the old motor and the new motor. So I have my turbo set up right here. So this is at the fully built motor that I'm putting in my car. So I've been mocking up the turbo setup here. So got the drainage line already in place, uh, which came off of a previous setup. Um, from Chris over at Home Performance, so that came with the motor. So it looks pretty good there. And this is the Garrett Turbo that I'm running. Now I am having a problem with down here, um, if it'll focus here, that this stud down at the bottom is hitting the top of the housing, of the compressor housing. So I'm gonna have to, to uh, trim that back and or just cut it off and then uh, with enough room to put the nut on that way it'll clear so I'm going to be doing that and also this is the motor over here that came out of my car so on this motor what I've already been doing is I'm going to I already took off the exhaust side so I'm going to be taking off the intake and looking at how everything was routed so I can transfer it over I'm going to use this fuel rail but not these injectors so I'm going to go ahead and get that with the turbo on it I'm just gonna leave this down here for now because I'll reconnect that but this was just for mock-up to make sure my oil line was going around so I'm gonna get this taken off uh, both motor mounts so I can get them cleaned up and try to clean up the block a little bit I'm not gonna repaint it because it was painted but um, I'm just gonna clean up to the best of my abilities
So I'm, I'm, so I just found out what time it was. I was supposed to head out and go somewhere and I didn't realize that the time got away from me. So t today will be kind of a short video. Got to cut it short, but I want to show you that I got the intake manifold off. So this was the motor that was previously in my car. So I got that off. It's actually over here. And what's really cool is this is all the stock routing, vacuum lines, everything that's on here. And a lot of the vacuums were on the, just had rubber nipples on them. And so this is all crazy how it comes stock. Has um, some drainage tubes here off the intake. And the intake that I got with the motor from Hume Performance has actually been modified. So this is the underneath section of the intake and it's actually all been uh, been modified here so these are plugged so no longer need those I won't be running a heater so all of these lines and everything are now going to be completely just obsolete I have a vacuum line here that I'm going to run to a distribution block all this is nice and tucked so this is how it's going to look in the car aside from having a hose go here and um, and then I have a uh, on the motor so this will be used to go from here this is turned 180 degrees to come over to right here and then this will be what comes up to that upper um, nipple that's inside there so other than that it'll all be nice clean this is how the motor is going to look here and with the intake so I'm super excited so that kind of wraps it up. I'm really excited about the build so far. I'm really taking my time to take a couple of moments, clean some things, wipe off stuff, instead of just throwing it together like I did previously. So I know it works. I know where everything goes now. So I'm just taking that extra, extra step to make it presentable, make it nice. That way if I have any leaks, any problems, I'll know exactly where it's coming from instead of guessing. So that's it for today. Thank you for following along. Please hit like, subscribe, and share it if you want. Uh, uh, definitely it, it's helping me out and it's so exciting to see y'all jump on board with me follow the build and just follow my journey so i appreciate it y'all have a great day or evening whatever time it is when you're when you're watching so i really appreciate it and thank you